Wow, here in Skidaway Island State Park, it is a lovely 63 degrees. It's gonna get up to 74 today. Uh, we are in Hitching. Let me swing you around here. We are in Hitching right now because we wanna go check out the Tibby Island with the kids. This is such a beautiful day. I wanna take them to the beach for a little bit, just playing the sand. Um, and then we have to check out of here by one, check out of here by one, and then head to Jacksonville. So it's gonna be a beautiful day. I am loving the sunshine that Savannah, Georgia has to offer. We did not boondock last night. We stayed at Skidaway Island National pa State Park. Skidaway Island State Park uh, near Savannah, Georgia, or in Savannah, Georgia. Um, what was last night like for you? It's a different world. <laughs> last night was we different. We did cook some marshmallows. We did cook some marshmallows. I think the, uh, the ease of not worrying about the battery going out, the water going out. And uh, your Wi-Fi. There was no Wi-Fi until you went to the office, which yeah. is Nick's big concern. But it was great to just <sighs> breathe and, and start a fire with kids and play uh, play cash register, right, Ivy? We played register and <laughs> we cooked marshmallows and just had a good time. It's it was a vacation camping uh, last night. Well, you know, in this whole granted, we've been doing this boondocking challenge for almost two weeks now, about a week and a half Turn now. And at the end of the day, we probably only boomed out a week out of that week and a half because of, you know, the houses and situation. But when we have boomed out, um, it's been like camping in your vehicle. <laughs> it's like a, a metal tent, like not even a glorious tent, because honestly, when we boondock and if we're staying one night, even if it's at the Flying J or Cabela's, well, Cabela's, we put up our table and the and whatnot, but like our TVs don't go up because we don't have electricity, and so we're they're laying down on our on our yeah, couch. They're laying down on our couch, so our couch isn't being used. So we literally only use the table if we put it up and our bed to sleep in. So it's not even really utilizing our RV like a home, like the way we've been living in it. And so when we hook up like this we're able to open up all the slides and to put the TVs up and plug them in. The kids can take out their toys and turn on the lights in their rooms and we can actually function in our RV the way that we've been intending to. Uh, and I think all of it, it has to do with not having a generator. Like if we boondock, I like the idea of boondocking in the sense of we're not going from RV park to RV park to RV park. Now we're staying at national parks and state parks and you know, off the grid places. So that's neat but I don't really like the camping in our car feeling homeless trying to find a way to find water <laughs> so we can take a bath let's get jugs of water so we can brush our teeth that part's the not so cool part for me yeah so. but I think it's all a it's all a, uh, a the reason we call it a challenge is to find out exactly what we need to actually yeah. sustain to actually right sustain <laughs> to sustain that uh, way of, of camping because we do want to do it more often and and we do want to eliminate the extra stuff we don't need we want to minimalize our yeah. life and we're trying this because we know that it is a a must to get a uh, some sort of generator yeah it, it, I wouldn't think it had to be a huge generator to run the whole thing immediately but that would be nice that'd be ideal yeah. uh, but something to have light it, it's, uh, it's a big challenge to cook dinner get dressed uh, military bath with a, <laughs> with, a, with a sponge and, and a sink and yeah. a, a bucket of water with a one flashlight or two flashlights right it's not Ideal. It's not ideal. <laughs> and the only reason we're doing it flashlights is because we don't want to wear out the battery. Which it seems runs, like it's already wearing out though, right? Yeah. That runs our refrigerator and smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms and stuff. 
so we wanted to save that battery for more important things. So it's a learning experience. We knew that this uh, boondocking challenge would be a challenge. Um, and I think our adventurous side had come out. Our need to explore different areas and to get out and see places that we wouldn't normally see if we stayed on, you know, the, the RV park path, you know. So I like getting out of our comfort zone, so to speak, and to kind of discover these new places. But yeah, it's I think instead it's of the harder. boondocking challenge, we should have called it uh, off, <laughs> off the interstate challenge. <laughs> no, because a few of those flying J's have been right on the interstate. So, um, but you know, we're learning as we go. The weather is amazing. It's 64 degrees right now. It's going to get up to 74 today. And we're taking the kids to the beach so they can play in the sand. Right, Ivy? Look at her new sunglasses. I got to say that Georgia was probably the best tourist friendly, budget friendly place. They, they do have trolley tours. Oh, yeah. But they do have free buses. And the bus follows the, the, trolley the path. same the trolley path North. that you pay $30 per person on. Yeah. The only thing is they do not tell you what is what, which is okay for us because we walked that whole city and enjoyed oh. what we wanted to enjoy without somebody saying, oh, we go look this, go look at that. We found it on the exact same trolley tour map and skipped what we wanted to skip and saw what we wanted to see. That was nice. If they have that in every city, that's something that we would definitely take advantage Absolutely. of. The hop on, hop off, free right bus uh, Parkway North. situation. <laughs> we hear a lot of gunshots. Now, if we were in LA, if we were in any other city, that would alarm us. But apparently in the South, there's a lot of hunting that goes on. So those gunshots were just kind of, it seems like everybody around us is used to that sound as well because in the Walmart parking lot you could hear it in the distance and nobody looks around shocked they're just if, maybe we're nearby a hunting range or a hunting a spot or something it is hunting season we're or January so oh yeah shooting range or something so we're now getting used to, to random gunshots <laughs> we're gonna check out Tybee Island and then we're gonna head over to Jacksonville Florida today I feel like we are in uh, Gilligan's Island, like a deserted island with this beautiful swing that happened to be right there. Bless you, my love. The weather is perfection. Oh, the water looks beautiful. This is the Atlantic Ocean. These houses, oh. <sighs> I love my life. If you like our videos, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you.
follow our videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like, camper, action!